Hi guys, my name is Victor. Welcome to my kayak fishing channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert Hobby Mirage GT drive into Mirage 180 drive with reverse. As you can see here, GT and 180 drives share a lot of similar or identical parts. And for this conversion, we would have to replace the spine assembly, fins and musts. As you probably already know, this is not a cheap upgrade, but I was very lucky and I found used replacement parts for very affordable price. And if you're interested, I'm going to post a link in the description area below to the place where I found them. All right, let's begin. Step one, I suggest that you feel and remember the tension for each cable. This will help you later on when you're going to be adjusting the tension on your new Mirage 180 spine assembly. Step two, loosen all three nuts on one side of the drive only. You can use 7 16ths or 11 millimeters wrench to do that. Step three, release all three cables. Step four, remove the drum. Be careful and try not to lose any of the GT bearings inside of it. Step 5. Separate the other drum from the spine assembly. Step 6. Use 3mm hex key to remove the idler pulley from your old spine assembly. When installing the idler pulley onto your new spine assembly, make sure that the set screw is aligned with the notch on the shaft. Step 7. Mark the installation position of the shaft using a marker and then take it out. Use a wood block or rubber mullet to avoid damaging the shaft. Install and center the shaft on your new spine assembly. Step 8. Install the drums. Make sure you install them correctly, otherwise these numbers for the pedal positions may end up being upside down. Also, if all of your bearings fell out of the drum, here's what you can do to make the installation easier. Take the drum, flip it over and put it onto the shaft. Then install all of the bearings. And finally, carefully lift up the drum. All of the bearings should stay in place and be ready for the installation. Now you shouldn't have any problems reinstalling the drums with the bearings. Step 9. Reinstall the chains and cables. The main thing to remember here is that the idler pulley cable always goes over the sprocket cable. When installing chains, notice how the center teeth on the sprockets are a little bit wider than the rest of them. This makes it easier to align the center of the chain with the center of the sprocket. Install the chains and cables in the reverse order of removal. If you need help with that, here are some pictures for the reference. I 
I'd also recommend installing the sprocket cables first because they're a much tighter fit than the idler pulley cable. Step 10. Adjust the tension on the cables and test your drive. Try to make it as close as possible to the original on your old drive. And finally, you guys are probably interested what was the cost of this upgrade. And for that, I'm going to make a follow-up video. I want to sell all of the parts from my old spine assembly and fins, which I don't need anymore. And then I'm going to calculate how much total money I spent out of pocket. Stay tuned for that video. All right, thanks so much.